Gentleman with the same pen book. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Minister, earlier this month, Environmental Commissioner Gord Miller released his report, Managing New Challenges, where he recommends closing Algonquin Provincial Park to commercial timber harvest. In his report, Mr. Miller stated that closing the park to timber harvesting could somehow be done without negatively affecting the local economy. Everyone in the industry understands that the Commissioner is completely flawed in his premise. Furthermore, just last year, your ministry released a report affirming the practice of a responsible timber harvest in the park. The people of my riding and across the province need assurances from your government that it will continue to allow Algonquin to be a multi-use park. Minister, will you stand in your place today and pledge to the people of Ontario that you will reject Question. the Commissioner's recommendation for Algonquin Park? Speaker, thank you very much, and, uh, and I want to thank the member for the question. I understand how important issues related to Algonquin Park are to him as, as a member and to his entire constituency. Having said that, Speaker, I will also uh, say in the House here today that we very much respect the work of the Environmental Commissioner. Uh, he has made commentary on the work that I do within my ministry and commentary on the work that other ministries do as well, and so we respect his work, we take his report, and we will thoroughly review what he has recommended to us. I am pleased, I would say, Speaker, that the EC has recognized my ministry's transparency and openness on a variety of issues, and we're thankful for that. And in the supplementary, I will respond more directly to the member's question and speak about what we have done very recently through the park management plan and the amendment that came into that plan and the Answer. work that will be going on in relation to this park on a go-forward basis. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, I hope to hear that. I'm looking forward to it, Minister, because this is not the time for sparse, sparse statements or unclear language. Mm -hmm. Allowing for the continuation of the timber harvest in Algonquin Park is vital to the thousands of people in my riding and across eastern Ontario that rely on that for their livelihood. In addition, it has been demonstrated time and time again that Algonquin Park has the most stringent and comprehensive management system in the world. The multi-use function of Algonquin Park makes it a world leader in responsible resource management, and the millions of tourists who visit the park each year is a testament to that fact. Minister, I'm asking you again to do the right thing and unequivocally dismiss the Commissioner's recommendation Will you do that today? Minister. Mr. Speaker, thank you, and I thank the member uh, for the supplementary. Of course, uh, I have no intention as the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry of shutting down forestry within Algonquin Park. Uh, having said that, the member will also be aware that that park management plan and the amendment within it did take 96,000 additional hectares about a year ago into protection. The important point for me to make to the member and to his constituency is that in no way, shape, or form did that uh, ex extra environmental protection impact the forestry operations that are going on in Algonquin. In fact, we can confirm that everybody who relies on forestry for their economic uh, sustainability uh, affected with logging in the park is still whole. There's plenty of work. As the member uh, from Thunder Bay, Attic Oak, and I went through the forestry situation in 0506, we're seeing a rebound in forestry right now. All of the people that are making an economy Answer. off of the logging in the park are still able to do that. We're proud of that. We think we've landed it. It's a multi-use facility where a park has been for 150 years, and we see it remaining yeah, yeah. so in the foreseeable future.